Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Awareness video. My name is Gil, and I'm a Research Director at SAI. Let's first understand the goal of cybersecurity. The three fundamentals of cybersecurity are confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Any attack that will be mentioned compromises one or more of these fundamentals. Our goal is to protect it. So we understand our goal, but what is the hacker's goal? They are the spy cyber criminals that wants your money, wants to conduct fraud, spy against you, etc. They are the hacktivists that usually hack for political reasons. They are the nation level hackers that use cyber attacks as their weapon. And you can also categorize them according to the hacker's intentions, ethical white hat hackers, black hat hackers, script kiddies, etc. Now let's move on to some best practices. Many of the modern attacks are possible due to insufficient access control. For example, in the Shodan Internet of Things search engine, you can find multiple accessible call centers, some even without authentication. Hackers can interrupt online meetings as they take place, in some cases without the participants even being aware, like in the example below on the right. So you need to take care of access control, as well as just the endpoint security. Always use an antivirus software on your personal devices. Always use a device firewall. Keep your operating system and software up to date. Do not download, install, or run any software on your work laptop without peer approval of the IT team. Never download pirated or cracked software. Don't click on pop-up windows that tells you that your computer is infected with a virus. And always keep your station locked. Another common and popular attack is phishing. Phishing attacks include malicious websites that pretend to be legitimate websites. In the example here, an email that seems to be sent by the Bank of America is leading to a malicious site that steals your credentials. Be cautious of email attachments and phishing attacks. Email should be used for work purposes only and not for personal communications. Check the sender's address carefully. Be careful when using a reference link to a website from an email and carefully check it. Always look for spelling mistakes in your email and on the website's address to identify a phishing attempt. In other cases, publicly available information can contain useful data for hackers, which can be collected from the web or social media. In the examples here, employees of Intel and Apple accidentally leaked sensitive internal information. Beware of the information you share on social media. Do not share work-related sensitive information with third parties without the manager approval. Regarding other types of information protection, do not use these con keys unless approved by the IT department or management, as they can be stolen and they can also be used for internal network infection. In addition, don't use public Wi-Fi hotspots without using a VPN and secure connection. Another extremely common vulnerability involves Wix authentication and passwords. Writing passwords on sticky notes is an example of a bad practice, and two-factor authentication, on the other hand, where credentials and one-time passwords are being used, is a good practice. So you should use a strong two-factor authentication whenever possible. Use strong passwords, for example, password that contains capital letters, small case letters, digits, and special characters. Replace your password according to the organization's policy. Password managers can be used to generate and store password security. Do not share personal credentials with anyone. Credentials of shared accounts should be saved in password managers. In conclusion, you are responsible to keep your endpoint safe and data secured. Notify the IP department immediately if there is any suspicious activity or indication of compromise. Thank you.